Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Om Priya and I'm an educator of Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy website and you can also download Unacademy learning app. So friends, let's talk about the subject. So in this particular lesson, we will be dealing with the second most important theorem that is Norton's theorem. So we will learn what is Norton's theorem and do one key previous equation based upon it. So if you like my courses, then follow me and also rate, recommend and review my courses and also subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. So let us discuss the lecture pattern here. So in this particular lecture, we will follow this pattern in which first we will take a gate previous year question of two marks. Then the related theory. So the related theory in this particular lecture is Norton theorems. Right. So we will discuss the Norton's theorem. And by the end of the lecture, we will do the solution of this particular gate question. This pattern is very useful for you guys because uh, this pattern is known as a high memory study pattern so follow this pattern if you really want to prepare well and really want to score well in an exam right so first read the question carefully the Norton's equivalent source in ampere basically in as seen into the terminal x and y is so they are asking about what is the Norton equivalent source the current source as in ampere as seen in a, into the terminal x and y here is so they are just asking the current value here Norton's equivalent i n in ampere so we will find for that you should know what is Norton's theorem first analyze the circuit here we have one voltage source voltage battery actually here we have another battery so these are the resistances 5 ohm 2.5 5 ohm and 5 ohm let's see what is Norton's theorem according to statement a linear two terminal circuit this is linear two terminal circuit that can be replaced by equivalent circuit into this circuit containing a current source i n in parallel with the resistance Rn so any linear two terminal circuit we can convert it into this equivalent circuit that is known as an Norton equivalent circuit having a current source and a resistance in parallel right so how to find this In and Rn let's see to find the In this is a short circuit current through the terminal so we'll see how to find out it then for Rn this is a input equivalent resistance at the terminal when independent sources are turned off so if we are turning off the independent sources then we will find the Rn or sometimes Rn is always equal to RTH also then source transformation let me tell you something regarding this because we need it into the circuit or to solve our question it states that the input voltage source Vs this input voltage source in series with the resistance R is the equivalent to independent current source parallel with the resistance R so whenever there is a this kind of a structure any voltage source along in series with the resistance you can convert it into a current source parallel with the resistance and you can do the vice versa you can convert a current source parallel with the resistance into a voltage source in series with the resistance right one more thing you need to know that this polarity here we have minus then plus so wherever the plus is the tip of that arrow direction in current source will be there right so here the plus is in downward so I am writing this arrow into a downward so alternatively an independent current source parallel with the resistance can be converted into independent voltage source in series with the resistance right and now how to find the voltage source if this 
structure is given then how to find the voltage source you will just apply the ohm's law v equals to ir multiply these two you will get the v here and if this circuit is given to know the value of i what you will do you will take a voltage source divided with the resistance now moving to the solution this circuit is already given in our question right the circuit uh, was quite different actually the circuit is this let me show you once again so this was a circuit right there was a voltage source so using the source transformation I'm reducing into a current parallel with the resistance okay let me show you once again if you remember this voltage is in series with the resistance I am turning it to current parallel with the resistance so here we have a current source parallel with the resistance now so this circuit is left with using a source transformation theorem now after simplify, uh, simplifying a network this is the network we have if you calculate this 10 10 ohm 5 into 5 and if you solve it you will get 2.5 ohm right then again you can convert it into a voltage source you can convert this source into this current source into voltage source so I am again applying a here after solving this particular 5 5 ohm parallel resistance I am again applying a source transformation and converting this current source into voltage source so on simplifying you will get this now in order to find this current you should know what is the current going through here and here right so how to solve here 5 ohm 2.5 2.55 total resistance and total battery 2.5 2.5 is 5 again so in order to find i in the resistance is 5 voltage is 5 5 by 5 you will get 1 ampere right so our required answer is 1 ampere so in this way you can easily able to solve the answer you can easily able to find this in one more thing if Thevenin theorem is given and you need to find the Norton theorem and uh, Norton theorem elements and if the Norton theorem elements are given and you need to find out Thevenin element like indirectly I'm saying if you want to find out I n and V th and R th is given then just remember that R n that means not an equivalent resistance equal to R th and for finding I n you will write V th divided by R th or you can say R n so in this way you can easily able to find out So friends, this is all about our today's lecture. I hope you like this lecture. And if you really love this pattern, then please comment me into the comment box. Uh, so keep studying. And thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you.